Apple CEO Tim Cook gathered employees at the company's Steve Jobs Theater on Friday for an unprecedented all-hands meeting. Delivering an hour-long address, Cook positioned artificial intelligence as the company's next defining chapter. The rare company-wide session followed Apple's strong third-quarter earnings report and addressed mounting pressure over AI development. Apple must do this. Apple will do this. This is sort of ours to grab, Cook told staff, according to Bloomberg. The CEO described the AI revolution as as big or bigger than transformative technologies like the internet and smartphones. The meeting comes as Apple grapples with significant delays in its promised Siri overhaul. Senior Vice President Craig Federighi candidly addressed the setbacks, explaining the original hybrid architecture approach. Wasn't going to get us to Apple quality. Federighi stated during the meeting, Federighi revealed that Apple had been developing two versions of Siri simultaneously. The first version, showcased at WWDC 2024, was expected to launch by December 2024 or spring 2025. However, the company realized this approach wouldn't meet customer expectations and pivoted to focus on V2 V2, is described as a more comprehensive end-to-end -end architecture for Siri's development. When you have an experience like asking Siri to do something, it must be dependable or you won't use it. Federighi explained, the improved Siri is now expected to arrive in spring 2026, though no firm date has been announced.